we're gonna learn how to shorten a separating zipper without taking the whole zipper out and putting it back in. I don't know about you, but my pile of clothes that need to be just simply altered, it's just, it's growing. It's growing and it's piling up and I know I'm not alone. We are starting this series, Everyday Alterations by Blueprint DIY. So today I found the perfect denim jacket because I told you guys I wanted a crop denim jacket but the problem is is when you have a jacket with a zipper how do you shorten that zipper so today I'm gonna share with you the do's and don'ts of shortening a separating zipper and at the end I'm definitely gonna show you how I style my new cropped denim jacket all right so the first thing you want to do whenever you're cropping something is to put it on and mark with a pen or a piece of soap or a tailor's chart or safety pin where you want it to be cropped. I don't want this super cropped. I do have a short torso, so that would be right here. So I'm gonna take a pin and add it right there. The things that we're gonna use for this project is a zipper accessories kit, as well as nippers. And we are gonna use some side cutters as well. And I got all of these on Amazon. I'll put links in the description box below. All right, so once you get it laid flat on the table, you want to make sure that you put a straight line across. Although shortening the zipper is a no-sew project, I am going to hem the edge. You can leave the edge raw because this is denim. So I'm gonna leave that little mark there and I'm gonna cut it as low as I can without cutting the pockets because I may wanna use that fabric for something else in the future. You do wanna make sure that the zipper pull is on the side that you want not on the side that you don't. All right, so let's cut. First thing you're gonna do after that is open up some of the edge of this up until how high you want the zipper to go. We're gonna take off some of these teeth. All right, so my hem is gonna go to about three quarters of an inch up from the edge, but then I also need to take out the zipper teeth three eighths inch above that. We have probably about an inch and an eighth that we need to take out T. So we're gonna mark that. All right, so the only good way I found that actually allows me to remove these teeth and not tear up the zipper tape is to hold it firm in my hand. Side cutter, hold it firm, get this side, grab the two, be very careful if you're doing it like I am against your finger. My side cutters are a little bit bigger than a lot of jewelry cutters. And then I'm gonna move my finger a little bit and you're gonna kind of bend it carefully so it pops out. Now this first one is gonna take a little bit of the tape with it, but that's fine. It's on the end, it can't not take it. I'm gonna be very careful because you guys know how I am about hurting myself. It happens a lot. So we're just gonna bend that. And when I hold it against my body and do it, <laughs> it works a lot better, I guess because of leverage. And all you're trying to do is kind of open it up so that it'll come off. There we go, you can see. All right. So I'm gonna show you like a bird's eye view. This is my chest or my belly. And so I have it just like I showed you, firm. And I'm gonna hold it against me. Once I have it firm and separate it from the one next to it, I'm going to hold it against myself and bend it back. There we go. And if you have a pile of clothes that need to be altered and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm excited for this series because it's definitely gonna solve a lot of our problems as well as I will still be doing my amazing epic upcycles, my no so upcycles and all the other things that we do here. So yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And I also have a members only group that I share behind the scenes footage. We have Blueprint DIY University for those who want to learn how to upcycle as well as you can have one-on-one -on -one lessons with me. Hit that join button right next to the subscribe button to learn more. All right, now before we go any further, I am going to apply some fray check. That's not something you have to do. I am just going to try to like replicate that plastic coating that comes on the end of all zippers. We're gonna try to replicate that using the fray check. Do my best not to get any on the zipper, but I do wanna get it all on here and you can find this at your local uh, Walmart or uh, craft store or fabric store and it just causes the ends not to fray so that these pieces we're about to add don't slip off. Now we're gonna let that dry for just a little while. All right, so this is what we're left with. My marks are all gone, <laughs> um, but let's measure and make sure we have just over an inch. So now we need to go in our bag of zipper accessories and find a new zipper box, which is this piece and zipper pin. All right, so these are all the silver ones. I put them all next to 
the original and this one is the one that matches the best. So that's the one I'm gonna use. All right, we're ready to add on the zipper pin and the zipper box, but it's still not completely hard. So I can still go in and just trim off a little bit. Cause I, for one thing, I gotta be able to get these things on here. And two, I have to get it up as close to the two as possible. So I'm gonna flatten that out with my fingers and I'm gonna do my best to just ease this on here. And this is why the plastic piece exists because it makes getting this on here 100% easier. And our goal is to push it all the way to the top. All right, we did it. We're gonna grab this tool and pinch it closed. I mean, it don't take much effort at all. Next piece, we gotta trim it want to keep the lip so that it just doesn't slip off but I can't slip it on with all those extra fibers I guess as good as it's gonna get I'm ready to pinch all right now it's time to see if this works now it's the moment of truth All right, so the last thing I need to do is go to my sewing machine and turn it under and turn it under again and sew it all along the edge. And it'll be done. All right, so now that we got it successfully done, here are some of the don'ts. Number one, don't put too much force when you're trying to clamp the new box and pin onto the zipper tape. It will break. Ooh. <laughs> well, these are not foolproof. They, I, I wish they could take all the force because you just really want them to not come off. But yeah, they're not. And that brings me to my second point. Don't buy flimsy zipper accessories. Um, when you're buying on Amazon, as always, you never know how good the pieces are. And I'm sure any old manufacturer will probably use these pieces all day, but they have machines that do it and they do it perfectly because they've measured exactly how much force. I'm not that accurate with the amount of force that I press. So yeah, I think I would shell out a little bit extra money to get more sturdy pieces next time. Number three, don't add the new box and pin before the fray check is completely dry. I said that the fray check was optional. I would definitely do it just to harden up that edge, but don't add it before the fray check is completely dry. It needs to be dry and it needs to feel a little bit hard on the end, just like that little plastic piece that originally comes on zippers. I'm not sure, you guys can let me know in the comments if you know if that's something that you can buy and add maybe with an iron, kind of like heat and bond, but I would wait until the fray check is completely dry. I didn't and it slipped off a couple times, so that's word to the wise. <laughs> And number four, don't over trim the zipper tape. I did go back in and trim it down because I had a lot of fray. If you over trim it, it will start to fray. So, so that's just another word of caution. And then the last note is that I did go back when I was done and add more fray check because I didn't wait till it was completely dry. Once I did get it on there and I figured out that it did work, I added more fray check and let it dry completely overnight. And that did work. I zipped it, unzipped it today, getting it on, getting it off for the try on and it worked like a charm. So let's see how I styled it. You said, baby, I'm not feeling it lately, but I hope we can be friends, don't you? Ooh, ooh. You said, maybe, if things weren't so crazy, I could love you like I used to do. Ooh, ooh. This is exactly, exactly why I wanted this crop jacket, because it's easy. Like, you can throw it on with really anything. It really let me know if you're looking forward to this series, if you enjoyed this video, and if you enjoyed this look. All right, I definitely have other videos for you to watch right here, and definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. And kudos to you for making it to the end of this video. If you are watching this, I am sending you love and hugs through the internet. All right, bye.